people here. We've had a good turnout for every one of the sessions and I'm just um, gratified that it continues because this topic matters. It simply matters. You know, we all have needs for shelter, safety, community, belonging, and respect. And housing alone won't meet the needs of those folks who are unsheltered. The Rough Sleepers book makes that abundantly clear. But housing is one part of the solution, and it's the part that makes it possible for those other needs to be met. Yeah. We also used the opportunity because we knew that the uh, regional HUD director was coming to Helena. We used the opportunity to speak with her yesterday. And um, we also provided some recommendations that she was very receptive to and had no idea. She said something that stuck with us. She said, you know, in Washington, we tend to look at the big cities and the problems and leave the little cities alone. And uh, she said, when after Commissioner Dean explained to her that um, we have our own problems here too, we have homelessness here too. She was so moved by what was said and what this community is doing that she promised to work with the advisor on homelessness to the director about how much, how much help she can bring to our community and communities of our size. And uh, <laughs> but you know that uh, the issue is not only Helena issue. Thanks, Pete, but I really appreciate all of you being here. And I want to recognize up front um, that many of us in this room are so blessed and have uh, a level of privilege that the folks we're talking about that are homeless really don't have. And it's okay to be to have that privilege, uh, but it's what we do with it and how we utilize that to help those that are less fortunate among us. And um, I, I am one that is fortunate to have grown up in this community in a great family uh, with a lot of support and uh, never even had a thought about where I might live or my next meal might come from. And that's great for me, wonderful. But to recognize that there are so many that don't have that privilege and don't recognize that privilege every day, it, it's important that we, we are here. Our ARPA funds, we, we, uh, housing was a priority. I am only one of the decision makers, but we came to agreement on doing some things. We, we contributed $600,000 to Florence Christian Home for their work and expansion of the new site. $500,000 to um, Habitat for Humanity and help them purchase a lot of land in East Helen and they're moving on producing more homes. $500,000 to food share to help build their new facility. Um, I, have, I have a list. I can make sure I don't miss something. Um, and we, we contribute one of the things, that, oh, three, three housing units in Lincoln for uh, workforce housing out there. One of the things that is really important that the local government does is we try to pave the way for good policy. And you can't build a bunch of new housing, just build it. There has to be streets, there has to be pipes in the ground, there has to be ways to get that sewer. Say this, I think that the question is going to be asked, you know, what can we do? And I think that all of us can do something. Um, whether that's getting to know someone who is unhoused or contributing to an agency that provides services or being part of the conversation like this with ideas and uh, assistance that way. But as Jen Gersky said in her, in her opening remarks at the YWCA breakfast, you know, be a catalyst of hope. And I think all of you can do that um, and can be a part of that. 